Hey guys, do you feel like you're better than everyone in your MMR, but you're being held back just because of bad teammates or bad luck or levers or feeders? Well, this video is for you. So ultimately, th that idea is, is one that it makes sense. I mean, we all get levers and feeders in our group, and sometimes you do have a hard time to carry up. And a lot of times people have this mentality because they'll play with their friends who are diamond or masters and they'll do okay. And while that's okay, it's wrong. And I'm going to explain not only why it's a wrong mentality, but also why this mentality is the reason why you're stuck in that MMR. So to begin, the first thing that I want to explain is why is this mentality, where does this mentality come from and why is it so bad? So to start off, I mean, there's a little bit of the Dunning-Kruger effect where you feel like you're much better at something than you really are purely because you don't completely understand it. Um, but that's not really the main reason why this is an issue. The main reason why this is an issue is something that I like to call the 30% rule. You're naturally going to lose 30% of your games because of levers or feeders. Well, that doesn't sound very fair, right? But you're also statistically more likely to get a lever or feeder on the enemy team because as long as you're not leaving or feeding, then you're naturally going to have more people on the enemy team. It's just basic statistics, more chances of them getting a lever or feeder. So if you have a 30% chance of you getting a lever or feeder on your team and you just getting stomped, that means that the enemy team has a 30% chance or more of getting a lever or feeder on their team. For the sake of math, let's say that's 30% on both sides. That means that 40% of the games is an even game and it comes down to your play style. Meaning if you're actually better then the enemies, you will naturally win 40% more games than you lose purely because of that. Meaning, likely a 70% chance if the 30% rule is correct. And we know that it's got to be somewhat close just because when watching Kala do his silver to, so I think he got up to like diamond, he had a 75% win rate. When watching Chu go from gold all the way up to masters he had a 72 percent win rate i myself had a 70 percent win rate all the way through plat so it's possible to move up quickly if as long as you understand that 30 percent of the games are just a guaranteed loss 30 percent of the games are guaranteed win so why is it that you're better than everyone in your mmr yet you're only winning half of your games and the answer is that when you win, you assume it's because of you. When you lose, you assume it's because of your team. And the problem with that mentality is you're never learning. If you see that I'm adjusting my positioning myself so that I don't get hit by Chromie's abilities, yet I'm not blaming the tank for if I do get hit by Chromie's abilities. In fact, I don't get hit by Chromie's abilities. I'm always dodging them. Um, but I'm never blaming my team for it because I'm always dodging them. I see people in low ranks get constantly hit by Chromie's abilities and they just blame the tank. They blame people for not aggressively getting on Chromie. I didn't care about Chromie. I was just hitting whoever I could hit and I was dodging all of her abilities and I never worried about it at all. Ultimately, if you're higher skill level than everyone in the MMR, you should be dominating. You should be just mechanically destroying everyone. Because that's what I just did to Chromie. I dodged every single one of her abilities, I waited for her to make a mistake, and I killed her. That's what I'm doing with ETC right now. I'm just, st I'm just stalling him so he can't stop our Dragonite. I'm doing so much this game that it's making it easy for my team to play. What I said earlier about people that have a problem with this mentality is a lot of times I hear, well, I play with Master, I play with Diamond players all the time, and I do well, I do really well. It's just when I'm playing with low-level characters that I do really bad, or low-level players that do really bad. The reason why is because Master players are doing everything. They're, they're throwing everything into clearing lanes, they're throwing everything into clearing camps, so it makes it to where your job's a lot easier, and they're setting up kills, like the tanks know how to set up kills. So if you're playing an assassin, you're naturally going to get kill after kill after kill, because your master players are playing everything correctly for you to do things well. When you're losing, when you're not with master players, that means that you don't know what to do to actually carry games. And that's the big problem, is you keep blaming your team for when you lose, but in reality, you should be winning somewhere around 70% of your games if you truly are higher skill than everyone that you're playing with. 
And this mentality is the reason that you're having trouble. Because if you're not actively looking for your own mistakes, if you're not actively looking at every fight going, hey, you know what, I should have done this differently, then you're never going to improve. And if you're constantly blaming your team, like you die instead of going, oh, I should have done something differently. Instead you blame your team, you're never going to improve because you're never looking at your own mistakes. You're never looking for ways to play things better. And that's the real problem in this is there's another fight that I do. And again, I'm, I'm soloing camps. No, no one in, in bronze, silver, or anything like that solos camps this often. Um, and, and we'll watch how those camps distract the enemies enough. I'm bullying the, uh, the Maya of Adelaine. Like, like no one's doing this as Jaina. They just play safe. They sit in the back. They farm. And Jaina could be their main character and they still do this stuff. Um, and again, we go down bot. We go mid. I bully Chromie away so that, uh, but like, watch this. Like, again, I'll watch people plat and lower, even up to diamond, even some masters that will blame their tank for not bullying Chromie. And watch, I don't care at all about Chromie. Watch this. This fight. So we start off. I dodge Chromie's abilities. She goes for me. I was the person that was right there. I back up. I start hitting this objective. I dodge one more Chromie ability as I saw that she was firing there. I moved down. I see that he's going in for a root, so I back up. I dodge the Chromie ability. I go back in. I'm still damaging the whole time. I dodge both of her abilities, and I go back in, and I finish off the keep. Every silver, gold, plat player would be dead right now, and they would be blaming their team. They'd be blaming their team. And not just that, but when the enemies chase, know how to use your abilities. I see them all clustered. What do I do? I place an ice ring up here, not around here, which most people would have done. It would have hit nobody. I hit it up here so that the bottom of it hits everyone, and I just kill everyone. It's because I'm just better than everyone in this MMR. I didn't care about Chromie at all. I was full health that entire fight. That's how easy it is, guys. If you really are better than everyone... You should be dodging everything, all the damage that they're doing, and you should be absolutely stomping them. Here's the problem. If you truly are mechanically better than everyone, it's often your game sense that's holding you back. So you may need to adjust. You may need to just watch pros and try to see what you're doing differently from pros. And that could be some of the more difficult ones. If you feel like you're drafting correctly and you know exactly where everything should be, work on your mechanics. Pick one character and master everything about that character. I know with Jaina, I can solo a bruiser camp in 18 seconds. I know that there's 30 seconds in between lanes or in between waves. What does that mean? That means that I can go, I can clear a lane in mid lane, I can go and solo a bruiser, and then I can go back to mid lane without missing any soak at all. That is the thing, is I know all of these things, and no one else in, in lower MMRs knows any of this stuff. So if you truly are better, you need to learn things. Stop the mentality of just thinking that you're better and start learning new things. Every single game, focus on learning something. I died here, I learned something. I'm never going to die that same way again because I learned something from it. Even though I'm better in the MMR, I didn't blame my team for that death. I blame myself for that death and I learn from it and I move on. So this video isn't exactly tailored to my usual group of people because everyone on my channels tends to be learning more from the game. But even then, I still see people in the Discord who have this problem. Many of my fans have this problem where they feel like they're better. And that mentality, even if you are better, that mentality is holding you back because you're not learning as much as you should be. End of story. That all aside, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, if you like the style, feel free to subscribe. Um, I... I did want to end off by giving you guys this quote from a, um, a psychologist named Chuck Williams. And he says, uh, essentially, it's really difficult for us to look at our own behavior, especially as we mature. He goes, one of the markers of truly successful people is being able to do self-analysis, but it's really a challenge. We all like to avoid dealing with our own shortcomings. So Chuck Williams, he said that uh, he's a psychologist. Uh, I believe now he's a neuropsychologist, actually. Um, he, he specialized. So again, guys, it's, it, it hurts us to look at our own shortcomings, but looking at our own shortcomings are the only way that we're actually going to improve. Thank you again for watching.